Hello, how are you all keeping? I hope you're keeping well. I seem to have a problem with something reflecting. I'm not sure what it is. Um, right, I've been trying to work on some Halloween designs that you can perhaps try and replicate at home. So I'm not going to promise that this is going to work exactly as I want it to, but we can always try and as always I'm going to drop on quickly before I have work so hi Katie darling hope you're okay so I have two nail pops here hi Roseanne I have one that I've painted with our lily white and one that I've painted with our Zara black so the first one I'm going to do and I've painted them obviously to save time because there's never enough time so with the black one, we're just going to do a simple cobweb design. Hi Kelly darling, how are you? I hope you can see clearly. If you can't, let me know. If you can, drop me some hearts so that I know all is clear. Because I need to have the lamp so that you can see it. So, I'm just going to take my fine brush and very simply... Going to draw a line. I'm going to go all the way around. For some reason, one of the hairs on my brush has separated. Let's try and get that stuck back together. The joys. Right, because like I've said before, I'm not a nail tech. So I wanted to try and create something that you could do yourselves. So you're going to go very simply in eight. So the corners as well. Got a really shaky hand. Like I said before, because it doesn't dry as well, you can go over the lines until you get them to where you want them to be as well. So, you're going to start off with your star shape like that. And then you're just going to imagine there's a cobweb. And you're going to fill it in. Can't really do this, and now I've dropped it. Oh, the joys! Oh, don't you just love lives? There we go. Do. So you're going to fill in the spaces with your little cobweb lines. So if I do a couple, and then show you. This is only really quick, so please do, can you see it's starting to take shape? And you're just going to work your way around, filling in all the gaps in the same way. Without trying to shake. Do you have anything to say for yourself before I sentence you? I have nothing to say to a pack of traitors. Tell me. Hi, Nikki. You're right. I've just sent you a text, actually, love, if you're still watching. Just going all the way round, oh. filling it in, and that's just with the black and the white, the black base with the white top. Um, I was trying to make the cobweb with some glitter, but it was going wrong, so I decided that if I was having trouble with it, I'd stop doing it because I wanted, like I say, to 
create some designs that were simple enough for anyone to do. And trust me, if I can do it, you can. So. There we go, I'm just going to clean my brush off. And my brush cleaner. And there you have a cobweb ready for Halloween. So I'm going to pop that underneath the lamp. And whilst that's doing, I'm going to get the other one which is the white change my brush head <coughs> I'm not going to promise that this is going to work either so I just want to pop a bit of black on there so I was trying to do them as well with as few colours as possible because I know that not everybody's got lots so I'm going to imagine it that it's this way and we're looking at our ghost. So, I know the top is already rounded, but I wanted to add <coughs> to that. So, I'm just going to go around the top. I'll show you in a second. Just going to go around the top. Okay, it's just a teeny little bit at the top there. Just to add to it. And then obviously, if you imagine a real basic cartoon ghost, it's got a sort of wispy bottom. So we're going to add those in at the bottom as well. You may need to do a couple of layers, you may need to cure the black and then redo it. I'm going to try and do it with just the one to show you so I don't have to keep you as long. I'd say going over the white with the black actually you probably would be better off doing the two coats because if you put the black too thick it doesn't cure as easily because it's more difficult for the UV to penetrate but I'm for demonstration purposes I'm just going to do the one so and then obviously you need some eyes And Katie, I'm using the uh, the brushes that you gave me, darling. Thank you. Not that I'm very good at it. So, like I said, I would go over. I may have to go over it to us two layers. So you got the eyes, and then I'm going to give it a scary mouth. Well, I'd say a scary mouth, just a ooh. They are literally just real basic designs that anyone can create. It's a bit top heavy, this little bit's a bit heavy, but it's getting used to it. And I thought I'd try not to do anything too technical. So he has his mouth, and then I need to clean my brush off. So I pop that into cure and clean my brush off because I have got some glow. You obviously don't need to do it, I've got some, so I thought I'd use some. Whilst that's drying, let's just put a top coat on our cobweb. Oh, 
had to do it then, didn't it? But I am just going to put another quick bit of black, actually, on there. Because it's not looking very great. Obviously, if you're doing this yourself, or if I was doing it for myself, I would take a lot more time over it. And now I'm nearly out of black on there, so there's no point putting a new lot on there. Fine, let's clean that again. green glow there are six of the glow ranges but I thought they'd be ideal for Halloween especially on the ghoulie ghosties so and we've got our basic ghost design and then I thought to add to it don't want it to look too green but going to very carefully just go around the bits of white that are exposed. I haven't cleaned my brush properly. I do apologise. It's showing up a little bit black. So just the white bits we're going to catch with the glow green. And I'll try later, so I've got to go to work soon, um, to get a picture of the glow. See if I can get the camera to pick it up. Unfortunately, mine isn't very good at picking it up. But just to pick up on that detail. Just remember you've got it on when you go to bed, you don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and think, what the hell is yes. that? This one worked a little bit better actually. I cleaned the brush properly. Did I put top coat on? No. I'm gonna need to leave that brush to soak a little bit. So top coat. Hey Shani darling, how are you? We have our cobweb, very simple, just black and white. You could do that yourself at home quite easily. You could change it up as well. You can do the cobweb coming down from the top corner just ever so slightly. You can have a spider hanging off of it. Um, you could do that on the nails, but then on one of them you could have a spider itself. You could use a gem with the spider. Um, even if it was just like a little silver one as its body and then do its legs coming off it's um, possibilities are endless uh, obviously don't want to keep you too long sort of watching lots of different designs and then we have our basic ghosty that's also got the glow in the dark green on him Again, something simple that you can create yourself at home. So I hope you like those. I will be trying to come up with some other ideas that you can do. Because obviously when you Google it, it's, um, it's normally really sort of technical things that you 
well, I don't know, I look at them and I think, oh my God, no, there's no chance of me doing that. So I wanted to just kind of try and strip it back for ones that you could do at home because obviously at the end of the day, our aim is to get it into the homes and to get you a bit feeling confident to do it yourself and to create your own designs. So I thought a simple step-by-step -step guide would be the best way of doing that. So if you manage to create any of your own, take some pictures, share them with me. I'd love to see them. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you have got any value from anything that you've seen, I would be very grateful if you could please share it with your friends as they may find some value in it as well. So I trust you enjoy the rest of your Tuesday evening and I will love you and leave you for now. Take care. Bye-bye.